I'm Guido from Modemapers here. I uh, wanted to show you a new workaround to creating routes on your desktop and then importing in them as GPX files into Modemap. So what you need is a program called Root Converter. It's free and it's available for Windows and Mac and even uh, Linux. Uh, so you go to the website rootconverter.de, it's from Germany. And there they also have an English uh, version of the site. You just go here and click English. And then you go to the downloads page, you click release, and there you can download one of the versions. You do need uh, Java for it, so you'll need to install Java on your computer. Well, I already did this, and uh, this is what Root Converter looks like. Um, so what you do here, this is the, the screen it opens in. Um, so you have a new position list. And what you do here is a type, you click uh, Root. And then you just start adding points on the map. Uh, you do this by right-clicking on the road and select insert and you have your first point and then you add points as you like and it will calculate the route from the one point to the other and you just continue like that until your route is finished and you see here on the right side it adds the points all right, so I'll leave it like that. Um, uh, what you need to do now is very important because these are points, uh, root points, but uh, for a modern map you will need a track. So you need to add intermediate points. Now root converter does that automatically for you. So what you do is you select all the points, then you go to position and select insert intermediate points and click all waypoints and make sure you have all the points selected here. Uh, if you don't, you can do this by clicking here, but I already did it, so it's fine. But then I click all waypoints and it starts to add points, intermediate points. Now there is a very, uh, something strange here uh, with, the, with Root Converter. Uh, this indication is not really correct. So it'll go to 100% a couple of times before it's actually finished. The best thing you can do is uh, is look at the at the scroll bar here. It'll move down in a bit, and when it's completely down and this has disappeared, then it's actually finished with the calculation. Now this can take quite some time, uh, so go ahead and gra grab a cup of coffee or something, because yeah it it'll last quite some time before it's finished especially and this is even a short uh, route but if it's a long route it can take up to five to ten minutes maybe even longer but uh, you, know, you don't have to do anything it's fully automatic so now you actually see the scroll bar moving down and this is the best indication you get on where it actually is in adding the calculating the intermediate points. So once this is uh, down, it's finished. Now you see it's all the way down uh, and it's finished. So go ahead and close this window. And then what's important before you save it is change the type to track. This motor map likes tracks. And you see here the line changes to a thin blue line, which is actually indicating that it's a track. If you zoom into it, you will actually see that it's following the roads that you indicated. So now you can go ahead and save this as a GPX file. So you go to File, Save. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. And just give it the name, test. And what's important in the file format, you select the GPS exchange format 1.1. As you can see, it's quite an amazing program. It can export into almost any format GPS related that you can think of. But we're going to use the GPX, GPS exchange format. 
and then just hit save and that's it and now you can import it into model map um, want to know how to do that you can check out my previous video on Google Maps or there is another video showing you how to import it or check my blog where I discuss three ways to import GPX files uh, I'll leave the links uh, down, down in the comments and that's it so there you go